Oh my god, let's try okay, something. Okay, see what that happened on TV last Oh yeah, I always watch. Oh my god. It's so fun. It was so good. Yeah, good. I watched that. Twin talk, twin yeah. Talk. Cool. Hi guys, this is Twin Talk again. I'm Selena. I'm Stevie. And we are excited to have you back. Ah! I am so excited to review Josh Ramsey's show album. Yeah. I mean, we actually just stumbled upon him. Yeah, and I'm really excited. But we're going to drink these first. No, no, no. I know, girl. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we're excited. We're <laughs> but I'm excited. <laughs> Woo! I am on one. No, seriously, though. Like, I'm no, actually I'm really excited. excited. I'm really excited to watch, to listen to the Josh Ramsey show and sort of give our opinion, especially because it's a band that up until maybe two weeks ago, we had never heard of before. Right. But first, before you can really experience an album... Mm -hmm. You always need Come to have on, guys. You beer always need a hand. good beer. So, you know, we don't, we're not plugging anything. We're not getting paid to like, right. you know, talk about this beer, but we are going to review this beer. Yeah. And we're excited to try it because we love trying a new beer. We do. So, this one like is very uh, bright with pink. Um, it's called the River Horse Raspberry Triple Horse. Okay. Um, I love hippos, but they're actually very scary. Yeah, like, well, he's, baby but he's wearing hippos. a pink they're beret, cute. so I think everything's going to be okay. Although this hippo looks pretty he's fucking a prince, angry. He's a Prince fan. Raspberry beret. Duh. Makes sense. So this has 10% alcohol in it, I think. That's, it says 10% alcohol. That's generally a lot, right? Like, more than your average can. Um, yeah, I feel like we drink beers with, like, a 4.5. All right. I'm ready. It's from Ewing, New Jersey. Yeah, which totally. is where we're in Jersey City. So I don't know where Ewing is, but I, I, if I like the beer, I'll totally go. Yeah, there a we've run. had some New Jersey beer before, and like, no, no, no. Sorry, New I'm Jersey. saying we don't have the best. what? Where did I will we go? The beer say was it so was, fucking bad. It was um, sorry. Where did we it go? It was Cape May. It was Cape, Cape May. May. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> Anything. But this beer was not no. good. This was the worst flight I've had in Oof. my life. It was bad. <laughs> oh god, it's like mud. Yeah, it was. It wasn't good. So, um, I'm, anything is better than get, get the bad. Okay, get the bad out. Second chance. Good beer, hopefully. And cheers, right, cheers, cheers <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> chug 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 it's so much it's easier so cold. to chug the warm water i just i just like the idea of the fact that there's like always a water on my fingertips right you know what i mean because like 
Or it's, a beard. Especially, <laughs> especially as you get older, I feel like I feel like the older I get, the more I wake up in the middle of the night time of thirst. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't get I, it. I, I, day. I definitely was a lot more active in my twenties yeah. than I am now. So it's like it, it doesn't make sense to me that I'm just so fucking thirsty all the time. But I started drinking more water. But I also drink a lot more <laughs> beer. Yeah. So that's only, true. only the good What's well, hydrating us? We're not uh, drinking as much water as we need to to counteract the, the water in beer. beer. <laughs> Okay, so we got pink, we got r- r- raspberries, we yes. got triple horse, we got the hippo, we got uh, New Jersey, we got, um, okay, we got it. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, point, point, point taken. Yep, go on. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> okay, we're good, yep. Yeah. Yeah, we- Your listing shit. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Because <laughs> I didn't know what to say. You caught me. <laughs> you were going to say, what about the beer? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I really <laughs> wasn't. No, no, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, we got to review this album. Okay, so we are reviewing <laughs> the Joss Ramsey show. I feel like I just like stuttered my words there. Take two. The Josh Ramsey Show. Huh, the Josh <laughs> Ramsey Show. Mm, where Josh and Ramsey Ramsey show. Show. we're not on the same page. Okay, okay. we're going to review the Josh Ramsey Show right now. The first song is called Lady Mine, and it's by Josh <laughs> experience and I've heard that song before yes I agree like that like wh- what we heard is definitely like a cut radio version I think exactly yeah because that was a whole entire concert in one that was that was a that whole got one. me going I mean like that that, so that big band opening all the horn players yeah. the like big orchestra feel like Wow. When they went into that acapella section. Yeah. I'm done. The whole thing. No, like, I, it literally. I can I, already say I'm going to love this album. Oh, yeah, I'm going to love it. It's like, I feel like while the song was playing, mm-hmm. there were concerts that I've been to that were completely different that I was like, exactly. it was taking me from concert to concert, like, all my happy places. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? So I was just going, instead of, like, just focusing on one happy place, like, I was like, oh, and then I was like, oh yeah, but remember that concert? Oh, remember that time? Like okay. because of the different sounds or what they would do. Yes. Like there was like a lot of rock, but then there, you know what I mean? Yeah. It just kept on kind of bouncing between these like 
I, I mean, the, the, I don't know. Uh, there's no word except besides experience. Right, exactly. I, I feel like I just stepped into experience, which makes sense mm-hmm. because he's the lead singer of Mary Alice Trench. Yeah, exactly. And they did Masterpiece Theater, mm-hmm. and I mean, listen, I've never, I didn't know who Josh Kenzie was from Adam maybe three weeks ago, mm-hmm. but when we stumbled across him and fell in love we heard a song or two and we were like oh this is really good let me research this author a little bit more and then we found all of his stuff in Marianne's Trench the masterpiece the the masterpiece theater yeah it's a masterpiece of theater like that's so that's exactly what it is yeah like that's the theater we're gonna get another show it's literally and the we're Josh getting Ramsey another show, show. I, yes I am so excited oh, oh I'm going to a show in my living room doing twin talk with my sister yeah 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 <laughs> like this is the dream okay yeah. let's do it let's... yay so mm-hmm. the next song is called blame it on the beat I don't know why. Like, I just thought of Michael Jackson. I hope it has a Michael Jackson vibe. Oh, I found Beauty and the Beast. Oh, did on the you? Beat, Beauty and the Beast. Oh. I don't see, know. Let's see what time no, of song it is. No, just like when I read the thing, like, my mind just went to, like, um, Blame It on the Boogie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so interesting. let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> choreographing an entire huge oh my God, big yes. musical theater number in my noggin. Not only that, yes. not only that, but I want this song to be on Dancing with the Stars. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I want to see a routine to that on Dance with the Stars. I'm into it. Right. I'm so into it. I and song two we're in and I am just fucking blown away I really like just wanted to be like this is what I thought right I love swing dancing yeah I love I love being able to like go out and just swing dance Mm -hmm. but nobody does that anymore you know nobody does that anymore you have to go to like a a place that does no you have to go to a specific place that mm -hmm. does swing dancing but then it kind of loses it 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 loses that that appeal and that like fervor right yeah and so I haven't been to a place that I felt like in a long time was like a swing dancing place right but I feel like there's just a missed opportunity here if I went to a swing dance place and it was new age and it was like the new generation of swing dancing Mm -hmm. but it was music like this yeah my ass would be out swing dancing every single weekend. Mm. I love swing dance. Yeah. I love swing dance. Yeah, that was fucking great. That was really fucking You know what good. I want to see is I want to see, like, I want to see 
the top, the last top three of fucking Dance with the Stars do like a group dance, like a group. Yes. That is so fun. Uh huh. Well, side note, just really quick. Mm-hmm. Did you see that Dancing with the Stars is going to be exclusively on Disney Plus now? Really? Mm-hmm. Um, obsessed. Yeah, but people are pissed because not everybody has Disney Plus, especially with all the allegations oh, that just you came can out watch about it Disney. For free. And you can watch it on free on cable. Oh. It's not going to be on cable anymore. It's going to be on Disney Plus. Oh, if like you want to watch Dancing with the Stars? You have to watch it on Disney Plus. Like it wait, comes wait, out every week on that- Disney Plus. What? Like no, I don't like that. I thought you were going to say they were putting, like, the archives on there. No. Best of me. Okay, we've heard this song, I think. I think this is the country song. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yay. I'm excited. Feels like home doesn't look right. Truth seems wrong in the right light I'm making everyone and everything has changed Can you forgive me love, forgive me love Forgive me love, forgive me love Can you forgive me love, forgive me love You know I just can't be without you You know yeah. what I mean? But like, I couldn't help it. I couldn't, I couldn't not sing the words. It's so catchy. I couldn't yeah. not dance because it's so good. But like, I'm just not a country person, really. No, I, I know what you mean. I think he did a really good job of like keeping to country. Like the lyrics felt country. Like yeah, everything it except like for that little, draw. little bit. Yeah, exactly. That little bit at the end where uh-huh. he did that like high thing yeah the, and the then, like almost panic at the disco right and, and then at thing. the end of the chorus when he was doing little like trolls or whatever like above besides that for the most part like it was a, the song was a you know like a pop country yeah song. Like, a, like a solid pop country song. right like, but it's I, catchy you got all the people singing it mm-hmm. but i do feel you to not saying it's bad it's just it's, it's not, not my favorite exactly. genre so sometimes it's hard for me to like Fall in love with it, but I was grooving. I was like I, into it. I mean, I really like that song. And notes. I do respect it too because oh, the like first two songs, songs it. the first two songs were nothing like it. The first two songs were like, um, oh, there was a lot going on, mm-hmm. like a lot going on. Mm-hmm. But then with this, like, it kept it pretty simple. Like, you know, it seemed like it didn't change every you know, couple of measures to something completely new. Like, it stayed, like, a typical, like, you know, country song that you have, like, a verse and a chorus and X, Y, and Z. And that's nice because um, it just, it just shows that he can do simple, too. And sometimes, like, simple, Mm -hmm. you need to go back to. Mm -hmm. But you can't always do, like, like crazy, hardcore. Like, Like, there's a thousand things going on. Right, like, sometimes you just have to take a step back. And people need to listen to kind of a simply made song. Mm-hmm. And so it yeah. shows that he can do all of it. Not everything has to be this big, huge experience. Sometimes you just need a song that you can jam to because it makes you feel happy or it makes you feel sad. And it's like, it's simple enough to where you can relate to it, you know? Right, exactly. And I really feel that 
with that song, The Best of Me, a lot of people, it's, it's vague enough to where anybody can make up a narrative around it mm-hmm. and make it about themselves and it be just that. That's what makes a fucking pop song universal. Right. You know, if you really break it down, I mean, the songs are what they are, yeah. but they get you, they, they, it's a science, you know? Right. It's just a fucking science, and he has the fucking science down. He, yeah, he, he knows he that fucking toes. knows. Yeah, he's great. This is Army of One. Okay. Is Army this song going to be like a sad I have song? not heard this song. Most of the first songs that we've heard, I've heard, but I have not heard this song. I haven't heard that second song. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm nervous this is gonna be like a sad song. I don't know. Okay. We got it. We got it. We'll see.
we crazy? Did we just listen to like these songs in a row? I think we went on a journey. And I think let's look at the track list. Okay. Because I do think that was multiple songs. Yeah, I think so. So I so the first one was so that was Army of One. Yeah, and then You and I, and and then Delirious. Delirious. So we listened to You and I. So this was and Delirious. And the reason why we had to do it that way, and I was about to go into Painted Faces, because oh my God, there is a vibe happening. There is really a vibe. I really suggest. That if you haven't already, and I know that I'm going to, and I know that you will too, go back from the top and listen to this album without interruptions, without people's reviews, right. without anybody's input, and really just smoke a joint, drink a beer, yeah. and experience this album for yourself in full. Because I'm I could have, I had to, I had to stop myself. The kitty is floored. <laughs> Like I, I had to stop myself. Like, I was like, from okay, just going I just on a journey. Yeah, like I was about to go on the journey, but then I was like, oh shit, we're recording. Um, but that was it, a journey. Yeah, those three songs together to were so festival. good. Exactly. I to be, like at a festival, just dancing, I was like, like this is my new. Those weather. three songs all together yeah, was like my new summer jam. Summer. Yes, I mean, I, I just that's it. I'm floored. Yeah. I have no words. I have no words. Yeah, that was so good. Words. That was so fucking good. And sorry. <laughs> okay, so the next song we're listening to is Painted Faces. And the first thing that popped in my mind when I read, like, when I read what the song was called. Yeah. What I automatically thought the song would sound like or be like. Is like circusy. It is like circusy or um, if the vision that popped in my head was fucking mimes. No, it was, it was... I chime in with, haven't you people ever heard you know, of? Like, what yeah. are you talking about? Closing at the disco. Panic at the disco. Jesus. Fucking, I write sins, not tragedies. tragedies. God, I don't know why it took me so long to get that. But that, when I looked at that. <sighs> that's what you thought. That's that what, what I first thought that came to your face. But okay. that's something interesting because I need to stop trying to connect it to something else because he has, I even wrote it down like in my notes. I was like, it's so crazy because I keep on trying to put mm-hmm. his his music in a box like it keep on being just no oh, this sounds like panic at the disco oh this sounds like michael jackson oh this sounds like mika like whatever but oh, mika, yeah but at the end of the day you can't put him in any boxes he's his own fucking box he's a tr- like at this point he's a renaissance man to me right exactly like, he plays his own instruments right. he produces his own music he writes his own songs yeah. Like, it just feels completely original. It is. It, this is original. It doesn't feel like, oh, I hear this person in him. And obviously he's, like, influenced. He obviously has influences. Right. But this but is a unique sound. Exactly. And that's something I just, like, love. So I need to stop trying. And it's hard to come by. It's hard to come by. But my so mind, stop trying to put him into a box because he ain't in a box. He's in the Josh Ramsey box. Yeah. Yeah. He's in his own box. Good on you. Yeah. Good on you. All right. So this is Painted Faces. Cool. The Josh and Anthony show. Let's see here. It just felt like a ballad. Let's yeah. see what happens after that. I feel like maybe something upbeat. Yeah. That's like more rock. Right? Yes.
Um, you. Yeah. This is my thoughts. Okay. My thoughts is that if I had to pick my least favorite song mm -hmm. from what we've heard so far, yeah. it's that song. I thought the song was really good. It took me back to like the early 2000s. You know, we were t teenagers and we would go to concerts at Fiddler's Green in Denver and, you know, listen to rock shows mm -hmm. on the grass. Like yeah. that's what it took me back to. So I liked the reminiscence of that, but it didn't sound as unique as his other songs, I guess. I see what you're saying. It was it kind of went back to like how the country song was, where it was very like okay, and this is how a traditional a traditional two thousands era rock song would works. go instead yeah. of something you know like that's crazy and weird or unique or, mm -hmm. or different. Like it yeah. followed a it felt like it followed a, a line like a guideline yeah. like mm -hmm. a like writing a song for sure. Um, I'm actually excited to listen to that one again. Me too. Um, I think it'll grow on me. I think that's what I was thinking. It's like. I think it'll grow on me, and I, I, I don't know. When he said, "Why do I stand if I don't stand for something?" I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure that's what the lyric was. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, all I could envision was this song being played at like the back of a protest or something. Yeah. Like in the sure. background of like a movie with like some mm -hmm. sort of like protest happening, and it felt like I don't know. All of a sudden, the song like felt political to me, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty like. I really can't. It's hard for me to hear the the lyrics. Like, yeah. It's hard to process the lyrics. It's hard to process time. the lyrics. It's, yeah. it's easier for me to look at the lyrics mm -hmm. and understand what they're saying. Right. So really I go off like the it, feeling. The feeling that I get when I like listen to the song. Uh -huh. So I'm sure the lyrics. I mean, I don't know actually what the lyrics are. Well, he's are. obviously a genius lyricist. Oh yeah. So I'm sure the lyrics are amazing you know what I mean no I know I'm just saying like, I can't remember every single like, detail because I can't I'll, this is the first time we're hearing this album we're hearing it for the first time mm -hmm. with you guys so yeah you know sometimes it is hard to pick up the specific lyrics yeah. or what they're trying but see, to see I, I heard everybody. this lyric loud and clear and like I'm pretty sure it's right yeah why do I stand if I don't stand for something mm -hmm. but and then it kind of makes me feel like a piece of shit because it's like I didn't ask to be born I'm just living like let me just live my life Josh Ramsey I'm is taking us on a philosophical <laughs> journey right now, people. We are going yes. to a philosophical journey right now. Basically, we were just saying, I said all of a sudden when he said the line, why do I stand if I don't stand for something, the song to me became political. Exactly. And I need to look at the lyrics because... Well, and also Josh Ramsey's political views because unfortunately, because he's famous, they'll probably be out there. Right. So it's going to be interesting Even to kind of like business. read the lyrics of like all the songs and see if there's anything that's like a push, trying to push an agenda. Exactly. Well, because as far as I'm aware, the Josh Ramsey show isn't a political album. Right. Exactly. So exactly. It, it, it'll be interesting to see what his political stances are. Although I can sort of assume what they are mm -hmm. based on how he looks and you know how he acts and he seems very free, free spirited right. and stuff like that yeah. you know so i can i can probably assume but i don't want to assume so assume he makes an ass assume out of you and, and me, me. <laughs> all right yeah okay this song is called spellbound um, oh i've heard this song how this is this is a single this is a single this is like a, like a musical theater song let's listen to oh interesting i haven't heard it i have not heard yeah. that song yeah i heard this song it's a single
song. I mean, yeah. it's cute. I think it's, it's simple. That's literally what I said. It's like, I said it's a cute song. Yeah, it's cute. And it's simple. So I'm re so I actually today I just finished Fly Away, the sequel of um, Firefly, uh, Firefly Lane. Lane. And the whole entire song, I was just thinking about, well, I don't want to give the book away, damn it. Don't give the book but away because I haven't read it. I'm not going to give the book away, but, like, it was just reminding me, like, the whole song, like, for some reason in my head, I was just watching this montage of Kate and Tully, like, riding their bikes, oh, like, okay. like, down yeah. the road and, like, having, like, a carefree, like, mm -hmm. you know, like, carefree, you know, just happy childhood, childhood yeah. ro uh, not romance, um, uh, adventure, adventure, you know what yeah. I mean, like, that's what I was thinking of. I was yeah. just like, oh, I was just thinking, like, in a sense. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I get that from that song. Yeah. The song. I, it had that, like, it went back to sort of that big band feel a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I liked how simple and clean it felt. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel like it was polluted with, you know, drum solos and extra beats and all this stuff. It just felt sort of like... A song that had depth without being depthful, I guess. It's, oh my god, yeah, 100%. You That's know, a great way to put it. And yeah, it like made me feel giddy, but it still, it made me feel like, it made me feel something. It wasn't just like, a th not that I think that any of the songs are throwaway songs, yeah. but kind of if we go back to, what song were we talking about where it Pain was like- Faces. Pain Faces. or was it that song that we were Pain talking Faces about? Pain Faces was the one that was like- No, wait, I'm talking are. about, I'm talking about like the country song. Oh, where best it's of like, best Yeah, of where, you know- you can get behind it and it's fun and like whatever, but it, does that make sense? Oh, well, I feel I do feel like this song is a little bit more specific to a very specific genre. Yeah, I feel like Best of Me. That's obviously gonna appeal to a pop crowd. It's obviously gonna appeal to a country crowd. So there you go. You already have two huge groups of people that that's gonna appeal to. Where this this song feels a, a little specific. bit more. Musical theater a bit, a little bit more innovative. So yeah, I, I guess like I there's a really smaller the, subset of people yeah. who are going to really fall in love with a song, right. which doesn't make it a bad song. I just feel like maybe people of like the top 100 charts can't process Appreci the genius of the song, basically. right? Like appreciate it, appreciate yeah. it for what it's worth. Which Where is, they can with the country song because it's country, because it's yeah, because it's country and. They love country. You know? Yeah. That song is really fucking good. But I feel like there's just a subsection of people who can really appreciate it. Right. You know? Yeah. And you're right. Like, this song, like, I could see being, like, a cute little jazz dance or something on. Now everything's going to mesh with Dancing with Dancing the Stars. Dancing with the Stars. Disney Plus. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I could see yeah. it being, like, a cute little jazz routine or you know, something like that, like on Broadway, or mm -hmm. I can feel that, you know, it's sure. very theatery, showy. Yeah. Okay, this song is called Try Me. I don't know. That makes me feel tension. I don't know why I keep on, I'm just telling you guys, like, the first words that come to my mind when I read the thing, and it, okay. to me, I'm, it was, it felt like, try me, try me, like, but I don't know. That's probably just personal I don't shit. know. I, I didn't have a chance to think about it. Before you started telling me, how oh, I'm sorry. Talking. No, no, it's okay. Next but... time, I'm gonna let you go first. Oh, it's okay. I just, I, I just couldn't process the name of the song mm. before you told me how you felt yeah. about it, and now I don't know how else to feel about oh, it. Oh shit, I'm sorry. But it's okay. I mean, try me. I'm trying to think. Like, you know, we had like a. It's been a. It's been three, two songs since. So I don't think we need anything dramatic, but I think we need something maybe a little bit more mellow. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it flows. Yeah, because we have to remember, this is a whole entire experience. And, and, and the whole thing's an experience, and there's still over half an hour left. Yeah. So we definitely haven't hit the climax yet. Yeah, true. So we're going to get a funky song.
Okay. Okay, so first of all, like first that song was funky as fuck. It was so funky and it wasn't like I don't know why. I maybe I mean maybe I'm just an angry person, but I was like, try me. But like in an angry way, but that song was like so not angry. It was like try me. Try me. Try, like, me. try me. Like I'm over second guessing. Try me. I ain't gonna second guess myself anymore. I'm gonna be a badass I'm fucking bitch. bitch. Yes. He's a badass bitch. He really is. I felt like it was funky, it was poppy. I felt like I was at a like I just felt like this entire album is making me feel like I was a wishing, wishing that I was on PNC or Fiddler's Green or somewhere where I was just on a lawn, like dancing at yes. golden hour, you know. Just Correct. doing my thing, dancing, seeing everybody vibing. Correct. Like, that's what I want. I want, and the sad reality is, is that this is actually, he's Canadian. So I don't know how often he tours to the U.S. Obviously, I'll keep my eyes open. Only God Canada's knows. so far away. <gasps> well, I can't get into fucking Canada. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm gonna add him on bands in town for me <laughs> because you know I get the updates on that app. And if he pops up, I'd be buying some tickets, especially if it's an outdoor venue on a lawn, which is my favorite concert vibe. I am fucking bopping. I am loving this album, and we're halfway through. You know the ballad of Cheeky Valentino? Yes.
Wow. 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 That, that was song so, was so fucking good. good. It Did we just listen to two songs? We listened to two songs. Okay, because so, that's what I was thinking though. Second act. It felt like the first part just felt like I was coming back into the show. Uh -huh. I had just taken intermission. I was just being like, yes, I feel this about the first yes, act. Yes. And now we're going into a whole new act. And we weren't ah! even ready. And we thought we were ready. And we're not, we're not even ready. ready. We're not we're ready. We're not fucking ready. Yeah. We're ready. And we, we have to be. Because I'm fucking listening to we're it. <laughs> but I am not. like, whew. Okay, It's yes. going to be good. But we're going on a fucking journey right now. Okay. So what was the last song then called? Oh, I don't know what the last song was called. It was so called it was two songs. We listened to... Beat the Devil. Beat the Devil. And Featuring it's... Serena Ryder. I don't know. Beat the devil. Okay, Beat so we're in act two, and they just brought us in in the perfect way to entice us yes. again. I am yes, so excited for I us to come ready. back. Like you do. this song i did too it it has almost elements of country like it had elements of country right. but it also had elements of like alternative mm -hmm. like funky like in the very beginning i felt like i was listening to an ed sheeran song almost mm. but then trust me it fucking turned around for it, the better. it felt like in the beginning it felt like in the beginning it was like okay this is like a new wedding song like exactly like, and that's kind of how ed sheeran is like doesn't he have a that's all yeah, about like white dancing, and barefoot, in the rain. And like, that's a yeah. wedding song. Exactly. It gave Everybody me kind of that, that like, that, like, okay, mm -hmm. this is a wedding song vibe. Yeah. And then it got me just thinking about, like, people, I was like, wedding song, and I was like, oh, well, two people share that song together. Mm -hmm. And like, that music touched them. Music's so fucking cool. I know. It's beyond. It's, it's beyond the comprehension it, yeah. of... You know, you can be thinking one thing and I can be thinking a completely different thing, but somehow it still has the same theme. Right. And it resonates with multiple people, even though it's one person's experience. Exactly. Exactly. That's why music is so fucking good. Wow, Stevie. I'm going to tell you this right now. I've always thought that you were really eloquent with your words. Oh. But ever since you've been going back to school oh. and you've been, like, practicing, like, because you have to write shit out. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're, you're, you're. 
not that I don't like I'm trying to compliment you. Thank you. I'm not like ins- I'm not saying you used to suck. Like I thought you've always been like really really good. But I think you're really fine tuning. Thank you, Talena. It's just kind of also cool to see that school oh, kind works. of works. Go to school, kids. <laughs> go to school. Oh, like, I guess go to school. I don't know. Like I'm a student. <laughs> I never said it. I can't remember what song was about, but I was just like, it's so crazy because his voice is so unique and so good. And it just authentically has like this unique sound to it. Like he doesn't have to do trills. Like when he's like, it's not masturbatory. Like when exactly. he sings, it's not like, I hate to say this, but like, like Ariana Grande, Grande or Mariah Carey. And I get that's a style, so masturbatory. but it's, but it's also very like, okay. This we is get I'm showcasing it. myself. Yeah. And he's showcasing himself not only through his really extremely good vocals, but through just the artistry of the music. Right. You know, the way he's... I mean, I I read somewhere that he plays most of these instruments. Yeah, I can, be, I can believe he it. He produces his own music, so... Yeah, he's, yeah, he's just a fucking talent. talented person. And... I just think talented people are they're rare. rare. Like true yeah. true talent is rare. It's it's easy. It's it's easy enough in the sense to be famous. Right. Especially nowadays when everything is on YouTube and TikTok. Right. And all that stuff. But to be truly like good at your craft. Right. Like anybody could be famous with a little bit of luck and maybe some money. money. But to be, like, just the right connections. The right connections. But just, like, you know, some... And that's why... Because it does suck because sometimes you hate things that are mainstream because you're like, mm-hmm. well, they're mainstream. Yeah. But then it's like, yeah, but sometimes... Yeah. Sometimes good things don't make it mainstream because that's not their niche. Mm-hmm. You know? For sure. I don't know if that's making any sense, but I'm just saying, like... I mean, we're looking at this right now. We're looking at this right now. We're listening to the album, Mm -hmm. the full album on YouTube from top to bottom. It says there's only, it came out today. Okay, it came out today. But this says there's only 453 views. How? But this is probably because we're listening to somebody that, you know, maybe that, like, see, I don't know what we're listening to this from. I don't know if it's, Mm -hmm. like, a subscriber. Like, here's my thing is... I didn't know who Josh Ramsey was Mm -hmm. until, like, a week ago. Yeah. So, he might be a big, huge star, and we don't even know about him. Exactly, exactly. In my head, he's kind of, like, a star, but he's not, like, I'm playing at Madison Square Garden star. Okay, yeah, yeah, I feel you. But I don't feel that vibe from him. I think he should, even though I hate Madison Square Garden, I feel like he's good enough to be a megastar, but... I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Like, the light show would be fucking awesome. But just, like, it feels like a small, like, video. I don't know how to describe it's it. It's so tough when something's so good because you want it to be only yours. Right. Yeah. You know? So fucking You want true. it to be only yours that you share with the people that you really care about and the people that you think will experience the same way you do because you had such right. a magical experience with it that... You only want the people that you share it with to have a similar experience so you can bond over that. Yeah. But unfortunately... What she said. <laughs> no, but yeah, like, but I agree. agree. I agree. But, like, 100%. unfortunately, like, it sucks because it's, like, he is so good. Like, I want everybody to hear his music and I want, I want it to be mainstream because I think it deserves and it's good enough to appeal to everybody's taste. But at the end of the day, like, I sort of just... 
I just want it for myself a little bit. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know, I just want it for myself. So it's like this weird dichotomy, you know? Yeah, I agree 100%. This song is called Perfect, Perfect Mistake. Mistake. Let's see what kind of vibe it goes into. It could really go anyway. It could go anyway. Because that last song was like poppy, but sort of slow, sort of a ballad. Yeah, it's, yeah. So okay, it could really go anyway. Let's see. really into that song yeah I think that it at first it almost sounded like I was it brought me back to the Disney channel a little bit yes that's what I was thinking too I was like okay so it's gonna kind of take us back once again it's kind of that cute innocent yes love. exactly like 1975 feeling right like that sort of vibe like summer you're dancing you're yeah. falling in love for the first time exactly and you then just like want to feel free right and then, and then, then it was also slow down bridge. yeah and then like you could tell it's like they were making the mistake and then it went back and then it was a joint like you know what i mean yes exactly exactly yeah it was a journey it the was songs a journey. are journeys within journeys Let's get life started. is like a tree <laughs> many branches many branches um i love the beats yeah the beat was I, I wanted to dance i wanted to dance i was dancing. it was a fun cute like, song it was a fun it. cute song yes this one is called the deep woods mm -hmm. and i'm intrigued oh yeah 100 percent. i'm hoping it's like almost a I'm psychedelic like fairy yes. land like Alice in Wonderland sort of like psychedelic vibe. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to go for. I mean, like we said, we can't judge a name by its cover. Well, well, I'm really hoping it's that too because that's what I thought of as well. And I feel like every time I've thought, oh, to me, like when I read this title, this is what the song is going to sound like. It has not sounded like that at, at all. all. So it would be nice to. Be, you know, have have one in my head. Not that it fucking matters. But, like, for your own psyche. For my own psyche. For my own vibe of the show, you for know? For sure, for sure. Let's see what this song sounds okay, like. Oh, my God, I'm so sad we're almost done. Okay. I know.
Two songs, but you had maybe to, three, maybe three, but maybe you three? had to listen to them all, all together. together. You had to listen all together. This album is broken into threes. Yes, it uh, without a fucking doubt, it's broken. Into this threes. is in three parts. This was see, this was the Deep Woods, Reckless Heart, mm-hmm. like there's nobody watching, featuring Doc DJ Shark Apocalyptic. Okay, Shark Apocalyptic. 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 Apocalyptica. Lips? No, it's apocalypse. just it's shark apocalypse. You're good. I can't you did it. it. Um, wow. I'ma look it up. I I'm definitely I think probably without a doubt the deep woods to like there's nobody watching is What's my your favorite section? segment. Segment, yeah. Um so far. I have to say something because I've loved every single song. Right, because that's like, that feels like our section. So I would say the Deep Woods was like awesome and like whatever. Mm-hmm. And then Reckless Heart came mm-hmm. and I felt like that was his anthem. Yeah, And like he was telling him about him. And then all of a sudden, like there's nobody watching. It was our anthem. Exactly. And then it made me feel like I had this parasocial relationship with him where I was like, I feel <laughs> like I know him. You know what I mean? Like I'm interested in his anthem because he's interested in my anthem. Yes. I felt like on really good anthems, you get that one really good, it just makes your heart dance song. Right. You know, we found that in this, like there's nobody watching. We found that in the Rocket Summer Correct. Saturday. Yes. Um, You know, I will post a link for that below. That's a great song to get you dancing. You know, mm-hmm. Saturday will dance the pain away. It's just so good. Um... Yeah, so there's there's these songs, you know, that these just like specific songs that really tear at your heartstrings in a really really good album, and I feel like it's a it's it's it really is hard to like you know you can hear a good album, but when you hear a good album, a great album. a great album like this is a great album, and like there's nobody watching is it's a masterpiece. It's, it's yeah. It's an I am anthem. blown away. It's, it's an, an anthem. anthem. It's an okay, this next song is called... We only have two more songs left. I'm sort of sad. 
Um, this next song is called Can't Give Up. It's featuring Tyler Shaw. I don't know who Tyler Shaw is. I've never heard of that artist before. I have no idea. So I'm interested. Actually, besides um, Chad from Nickelback. Right. I don't think I've ever heard of any of the artists that, that he's yeah. that he's featured that have been featured on this album. Right. So it's really interesting because, you know, not only am I learning about Josh Ramsey, but I'm also learning about a slew of other artists. Correct. Yeah, okay, I love that. So two more songs. Okay, so I think, think that this will be like we're coming to the end now. Right. You know, yeah. it's only ten more minutes of the album. Right, exactly. Yeah. We said keep it simple, don't get to it. A lot like best of me, I guess. I guess it's still okay. That that's true. Yes. Okay. You know what? This is what I said. Mm -hmm. Is that's exactly what I said. I mm -hmm. said it reminded me of best of me, even though or whatever that country song was. Yeah, best of me. I would say that I prefer best of me over this song. Yeah. I would say personally, mm -hmm. just for my vibe. Yeah. This song. Would be my last pick. Yeah, out of all the songs, there's, the the there's, there's only one. I'm pretty sure there's only one more song left. And this is my least favorite song. But I would say, even though I don't think I could rank my favorite songs right now, exactly. I'm pretty no, certain in saying that I don't think this is a bad song but I by any so. means. Yeah. But I don't think I'm ever going to connect with it the way I've definitely connected with other songs. I agree. And to me. It kind of feels what like a Kelly Clarkson song mm -hmm. or like a Pink song or who's another great artist that we don't really listen to. There's a lot of artists out there and it's like their voice is fucking amazing. They have so much talent. But I don't listen to their music. I don't listen to their music. Like, I think Pink out. and Kelly Clarkson, they have great fucking voices. Like they're very talented women. But, but I don't like, like their, their music. music. I don't resonate with their music. With yeah. the vibe of it. With I would say it is a bad one. I just don't. I don't. I don't vibe with it, man. It's okay if you don't vibe with things. Mm -hmm. You just don't vibe with. You can appreciate it that it's good, but right. you personally don't vibe with it. Exactly, that's how, and that's I, how I feel about it. Too. But that's also what I love about this song mm -hmm. is because maybe the people who don't like all of his. Big band he, he's, stuff, he's, maybe. he's catering to literally everything. And I'm sure he's all about acceptance and blah, 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 blah. He's literally in his music being an activist. He is, he is mm -hmm. creating sounds that some, every single person could take something and be like, oh, wow. Like this. And not only is it genre. genius, 
But it's personal. Mm hmm I totally agree. Talent. This song is called Miles and Miles, and it's the last song. And, you know, I'm sad this journey is going to end, but I also do feel like we've kind of gone miles and miles with this, with this album. Like, and I will it's go tales. miles and miles. Like, I'm yeah. excited to continue on this journey. For sure. It has taken us on a journey, so I can say that the very last song being titled that mm -hmm. is cool. Is because I feel like I could listen to this album over and over again and always find something new. new. I fucking love that. For sure. It's conceptual. Correct. It's conceptual. We got this last song. Okay, here, here we, we go. go. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, yeah. Take. It was like imaging heapish. Right. But it was the perfect, like, transformative, magical ending, ending. that was sort of needed mm -hmm. to this, like, experience. Right. Yeah. I agree. Um, it just felt like an ending. It felt like an ending. It felt like an ending. And for an album that was such a journey, I feel like we deserved that. Like, we needed mm -hmm. an ending, and Josh Ramsey delivered. Delivered, he exactly. He delivered an ending. It's, like, all wrapped It's all wrapped up. Like, I now want to do a concept show mm -hmm. to the Josh the Ramsey show. show. Or, like, because I, I really want to do um, the Mary Masterpiece Theater. Well, yeah, but I really want to do um, the November writing month. Mm, yeah. So maybe it would be cool. I'm thinking so hard of what do I want to write about? What do I want to write about? What do I want to write about? Mm -hmm. But what if I like, this is what, this is what I'm saying is, and we've always said this is I'm not saying we're not original, but like we always do well when we build off something. Yeah. So what if I take Mariana's trench Marianne's Trench, whatever, and the Josh Ramsey show, and, you know, I create that concept show, but I make it into a book. Why not? You know what I mean? Should reach for the stars. That could be, that could be what I write about yeah. for the, the, the month of November. Yeah. Yeah. Writing November doesn't have to be an original, you know, narrative or fiction story. It could be right. anything. Exactly. It could be anything you choose to be. Yeah, so it would be cool to, like, make a concept show. 
I'm re- I'm really excited to listen to this album again. I've I've listened to the masterpiece theater multiple times. Yeah, and like, I, I will at this point. I will continue listening to that because I feel like I find something new every time and I love it every this single time. This is just the part I portray. Yes. This is just the part I portray. It just gets you, it's man. It's so good. It just gets you. Listen and to it. We'll put the link for the full album below. But... Totally. And then this is the same way. This is you want a show. To it. You want... And honestly, there was a few things that I heard. I mean, I will say if you put it right next to anything Mariana's Trench... There wasn't a lot of songs that really fell into that niche. Into the Mariana's Trench niche? Into the Mariana's Trench niche. No, I would have never guessed. But that's guessed what I respect so much about this. Is that he can do any anything. genre. He did sort of a 70s vibe. He did a techno vibe. He did the country thing. And he this did was the a long big album. big band. It was an, a, a solid was, hour. It this was, was a solid a long album. And the he, album is an hour and 48 And minutes. with Mariana's Trench, with the, with the Masterpiece Theater... That's a whole different show. Mm-hmm. And it's still 45 minutes. And it's still 45 minutes in, but it's completely different from this. It's so different. This isn't like a part two. Like, love MGK, but like, MGK just came out with an album and, you know, it's. It felt like part it two. It felt like part two to get to my downfall. It was sounded like the same music, basically. This is a different show. This is a goddamn different show. Directed by the same person. It. You go, Josh Ramsey. You go. So fucking good. I'm so happy we got experience this together. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this album ever since, like, two weeks ago. I know it sounds silly, but then I just feel like, I feel, I feel like I've listened to this music my whole life. I'm like, even though I haven't, but then I'm also hitting myself because I, I never knew about him before. Well, you know what, we know about him now. Yeah, totally. And like, yeah, I mean, Brilliant 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 that is all i can say yay totally go and listen to the album straight through without any extra or any interruptions yeah like, you won't regret it i know i'm gonna do it i know you're gonna do it totally i'm gonna listen to this album over and over again i'm sure i'll find more stuff that i love i'm sure you will too yeah make sure that you check out us every thursday morning on eggs and bakey Check out our acapella videos and everything that we got going into because we're always fucking doing something. (laughs) That's true. And we cannot wait to review our next album. Bye, guys. (laughs) Eggs and bakey.